Upbeat music resonates through the halls near classroom C-123 at Concordia University. Inside, you'll find students discussing strategy before warming up. The room is dark, their eyes forward and focused. It's game day. We know we're here to win. Like, we're not here to have fun. Um, if I was here to have fun, I wouldn't be on the team. Maj Diamuri is the attack damage carry, or ADC, on the university's League of Legends eSports team. In game, his role is to deal as much damage as possible. Ryan Doyle is captain and jungler on the team. His job is to stay in the jungle areas of the map, collecting items, points, and helping teammates. They're just two important pieces to a five-person squad. Diamuri and Doyle used to play traditional sports, so they feel right at home on this virtual playing field. The same concepts apply from team sports to eSports. You gotta work with a team, you gotta be able to communicate, and um, you learn, you know, the difference between winning and losing. Diamuri is a former tennis player, but a shoulder injury cut his career short. Doyle left baseball behind after graduating high school. Now you're just left with your other hobby, which happens to be video games. Mark Valdoria is Concordia University's eSports coordinator and coach. He's been around video games since he was a kid. There's always the stigma of, you know, video gamers. We were always in the basements, Cheetos, Doritos, whatever, Mountain Dew. And, you know, just calling for mom every, you know, couple minutes to make you some pizza rolls or something. But what's happening here requires dedication, practice, scrimmages, and reviewing tape. So we're adopting everything that traditional sports took and then applying it to eSports. So you got to break down the film to see where you went wrong and how you can fix it um, and how you can apply it next time. Because next time could be showtime.